hi guys welcome back to batter box so there's the news circulating regarding an helicopter that was shot down in the niger delta region if you remember last week asari dokubo said there was a helicopter flying around his house and his neighborhood and he has the capacity to shoot it down i will shoot down the helicopter i will shoot down the helicopter i swear by allah that i will shoot down the helicopter Whoever is commanding them should be warned that I will shoot the helicopter down. Our people, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. As we are talking, with the video, I'm not able to the video. As I said, the video, that the video, then we case soldiers, we case police, whoever. I've been flying over my house, my house and my compound in the last 30 minutes with two helicopter gun chip. I have the capacity to contain them. Nigeria cannot surrender to Wiki. Rivers people will not surrender to Wiki. Ijo people will not surrender to Wiki. I have the capacity to contain them. And the government knows that I have the capacity to contain them. As I've been contain containing other people. Let them tell Wiki to back off. I am 60 years old. I've never been afraid of death. I've always embraced death. I've always embraced death. So I am not afraid of death. So, all those who are there, when the helicopter is shot down, let nobody blame them. I didn't go and look for the helicopter to shoot them down. I will shoot down the helicopter. I will shoot down the helicopter. I swear by Allah that I will shoot down the helicopter. Whoever is commanding them should be warned that I will shoot the helicopter down. Enough is enough. That Tinibu will hand over River State into slavery. The Wiki. Wiki is nobody. Without this man, I've learned how it is nobody. Wiki is nobody. Let them remove this thing from him now. I think he has billions. He knows the market. He has bought guns for his men. Let them remove this thing from him. And let us see. Go and vote. I will go and vote. I will vote. And you see me vote. Nothing will happen. We vote, result will be announced. Chairman will be sworn in, and we'll see. Chairman will be sworn in, and we will see. <laughs> I don't want to talk too much. We'll not talk too much. There's a military formation in this community. We did not look for their trouble. Your father mad is a mungu. You cowardly evils. Do you think I'm like you people? You will see the capacity, okay? They will do until we go and catch wicked with our hands. And then you see our capacity. So far, three bodies have been recovered. And this was a helicopter uh, that is operated by East Wind Aviation. Uh, it's a Sikorsky SK-76 helicopter. And it was en route from Port Harcourt Military Base to a oil rig, New Mountain Oil Rig, when it crashed nearby uh, uh, Boni Finima. Many people have come out to say that Asari Dokubo is the one that shot down the helicopter. But what we are finding now, as of recent, is that the NNPCL, the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation Limited, they said that around 11.22 a.m., after the airport departed from Nigerian Air Force Base in Port Harcourt, they lost contact with it. NNPCL also said it's the helicopter, and those guys are probably contractors of NNPCL or employees of NNPCL. Nobody knows the Ministry of Aviation and Aerospace Development earlier announced that three people had died in the crash. There were eight persons on board, uh, six passengers and two crew members. They are monitoring the situation, but they did not tell us the cause of the accident. And because they didn't tell us the cause of the accident, so people have come to say, ah, that was Asai Dokubo, and Asai was the one who shot it down. So what baffles me is that somebody can be able to threaten the government and stand with their full chest and say, the government of Nigeria has stopped messing with me. I have the capacity 
to take down a helicopter. Now, I don't know if Asari Dokuba has the aeronautical instruments or the aeronautical equipment to be able to monitor or intercept the communications or radar. So it's just uh, this, again, this jungle justice where one man can just say, I can do whatever I like. And it's basically giving a direct threat to the military and the Air Force of the Nigeria and the Federal Republic of Nigeria. And it's not apprehended, nothing happens. You know, it's just what's going on in Nigeria. People have the ability to make threats against the government. Yes, freedom of speech. But if it is true that it's Asari Dokuba that shuts it down, then I think we are in big, big problem in Nigeria. We just have a country where people are taking laws into their hands. And uh, I don't know. What do you guys think? Is that okay? Is that normal? Should someone like Asari Dokuba will be going out and threatening the government? And uh, is he the one that might have done this? Let me know your thoughts, guys. Thank you so much. I'll catch you in the next video. Bye now.